knew something was different, but you never think anything like this. This is summer in Louisiana. You can expect it to rain every afternoon, most of the time. It's rained for about a month here. The ground was saturated. But then we get 30 something inches of rain in 48 hours, and where's it gonna go? And at that moment, I said, Lord, I need some help right now. Felt like the Israelites. Pretty much feeling like the Israelites now. What do you do? When everybody you know has nothing, everyone you know needs help. Samaritan's Purse is here and they're supporting me. And that's firsthand eyewitness. These people are here and they're here quick. And they're getting it done and they got the right attitude and they got the right spirit. They love the Lord. That's what I needed right now. Their whole life, they're all their memories, their treasures, uh, their favorite pieces of furniture are all out here in the pile. When we finish mudding out a house, basically you got a shell and it's got to start over. There's nothing there but the studs. It got to be very difficult on people to see everything out there. They lose hope. There's just not a lot of hope. So that's what we do. We bring hope. We're taking the drywall, insulation, removing all the nails. We clean, sweep it. Uh, it is what we call drywall ready. So it's ready for a drywaller to come in and just start putting sheets of drywall back up. We have the manpower to do a lot in a short period of time. We started putting some things up on top of other furniture, some of our better stuff, putting stuff up a little bit higher. Never would have thought it had got you know, over four foot of water in the house, but. We had most of our belongings on the counters and on top of the kitchen table and dining room tables, and it surpassed that. It was just unreal the way the water came up. There's nobody prepared for it. It's been truly, truly blessed, you know. And without our faith, I don't think we'd, you know, a lot of people can't go on because they just only see what's in in the front of them. You know, you have to be able to see what's coming. You, know, you can't live in the past, you gotta move forward. And that's what we're trying to do. We have just, each other and you know, I didn't mm -hmm. lose you the first time. All right. So it, it's, this is really, um, I don't know if you could say minor, but it is compared to uh, the shooting because uh, I, I have him and I have my whole family and everybody's safe. I work for East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office. I'm a sergeant in the traffic division. And normal day, you go to work like anybody else goes to work. And uh, while we were responding to a call, I ended up getting shot in the line of duty trying to protect the public. When somebody's shooting, especially active shooter, we're trained to go toward the shooter, to eliminate him as quick as we can so no one else gets hurt, especially the citizens. And there was a lot of people out in front of uh, that Be Quick that morning. I got out of my car, got my, my shotgun, Closed my door, racked around in my shotgun. I heard the first shot go off. Then I got shot. We lost three really good guys, two from the city police, one from our office. Officer down, active shooter, which is something you never want to hear. And uh, just by the grace of God, you know, I'm still standing here before you. <laughs> you know, all of y'all coming out and helping us, it's just continually to overwhelm me. We're just keeping our faith and, you know, we trust in the Lord and He's going to take care of us. It just renews your faith when you see people come and do stuff for you. It's, it's very overwhelming for me to be here because I'm used to being the one that helps people. I'm not the one that's asked for help. And it's just really appreciated. You know, it's just from the bottom of my heart. Come home from the doctor and see people here working, it's just it's unbelievable. Well, without y'all, you know, I don't know where we'd be. He has saved Bruce from the first tragedy that's happened and this tragedy we're starting to move forward and we're going to move forward we're going to rebuild we're going to rebuild Be strong stronger than we were we got to find good in everything like i told her well we was wanting to remodel anyway so <laughs> now we're being kind of forced into it so we'll paint it a different color or something we also have a little uh, gift for you this is a billy graham training bible and then in the very front, signed it in some scripture. God doesn't tell us to come when it's convenient. When these situations happen, there's really no warning. We're called to come, and many of us with Samaritan's Purse, we answer the call and whatever it takes to get there. <laughs>